So, Redbeard completely forgot that today is the actual day of Halloween. And this is all that he really has as far as any kind of costume, mask type thing goes. And it's making his face become about a thousand degrees. So, um, th this is all the costuming that's going to happen. Be going down, people of the world! Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Sour Pumpkin Saison by Collective Arts Brewing. Yeah. Kinda scared of this pumpkin beer. This is actually, that's a Goliath from uh, Borderlands 2, my pretty much all-time favorite video game. Some Someday I'll get back to playing games on the channel. I'll play that game. Someday. But, you know, let's do this for now. Let's crack her open. I have no idea at all what to expect from this beer. That looks kinda normal-ish. Doesn't look, doesn't look overly scary at all. Maybe it's gonna be good. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if this is gonna be overly terrifying or not. Um, definitely got a little bit of that sour funkiness to it in the smell. But there's also some pumpkin in the smell. Ah, oh, I don't know at all. Let's give her a shot. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I really don't know about that. Um, it the, the flavors are really odd. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. The sourness is there. It's not like incredibly sour, but it's got that tartness to it. And then the pumpkin flavor kind of just lingers around a little bit. It's not a potent level of pumpkin flavor at all, but the pumpkin flavor is there. Just a little bit. Today being October 31st, obviously, happy Halloween, everybody just occurred to me that I didn't even carve and light the pumpkin. Good job, me. Although the week of the pumpkin is going until tomorrow, I think. That's the last one. So, maybe I'll do it for that, or I'll just keep the pumpkin and make a pie or something. Also on this date, in 1913, dedication of the Lincoln... Lincoln? Yes, the Lincoln. President Abraham Lincoln. Dedication of the Lincoln Highway took place. It was the first automobile highway across the United States. 1941, after 14 years of work, Mount Rushmore was completed. It's kind of cool. I... I don't know what to say about this beer. It's not... It's not bad, but it's definitely not all that good, according to the mouth here. Another Collective Arts can that doesn't really say much, but that's okay because this is... They always like to showcase local artists and stuff. This one being done by Blair Kelly out of Toronto. We have ingredients. Water, malts... Excuse me. No bad flavors there. It tells you the malts. They're Pilsner, Munich, and Kiln Amber, flaked wheat malt, hops, yeast, pumpkin, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, clove, and ginger. Wow. That is the first pumpkin beer that I've seen that actually tells you what the spices are. It usually just says spices. And we've got a date. Good on you, Collective Arts. I'm pretty sure Collective Arts actually made, made a porter that I really enjoyed. I would have liked to see that porter with pumpkin flavor. 
because that pumpkin porter that was had the other day was so good. Yeah, this is, it's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad. If you were to have it on a, a hot day or something, maybe, which you don't get much of around Halloween time, but it does have a bit of refreshing kind of characteristics going on in it. And it's what? It's only 5% alcohol, so, you know, it's not anything super strong. It's okay. Just, it's, it's kind of weird. Also on this date in the past, in 1941, the same day that the Mount Rushmore completion happened, part of World War II, the destroyer USS Reuben James was torpedoed by a German U-boat near Iceland, killing more than 100 U.S. Navy soldiers. It was the first U.S. Navy vessel sunk by enemy action in World War II. That would be a pretty terrible part of the ocean to be sunk in. Like, that, that's... Doesn't matter what time of the year, I'm pretty sure the Atlantic Ocean is generally pretty chilly. On this date in 1973, the Mount Joy prison helicopter escape happened. Three provisional IRA members escaped from prison in Dublin, Republic of Ireland, aboard a helicopter that landed in the exercise yard. The helicopter came, landed, they jumped on, and it flew away. <laughs> and I think that something like that happened recently-ish in Quebec, here in Canada, as well. I'm pretty sure. I tend to stay on the good side of the law so yeah I don't really have any plans to go to prison or anything like that so it doesn't really concern me ish thing yep ha. words from my mouth about things Finally on this date, in 2011, the global population of Earth reached 7 billion people. 7 billion people. And I'm pretty sure that both China and India, and maybe another country or two, have over a billion people in them each. Like, Canada? I think we're around like the in between 30 and 40 million mark. Even the States has, I think, like, three or four hundred million people. I'm, so, I'm very happy to live in a country with as much free space as Canada has. Like, I'm not constantly around a hundred thousand people kind of thing. Like, the, the, the concentration of people in some of those countries is just mind-blowing. Yeah, this is a weird, weird, weird beer. One other odd kind of random thing that I noticed on this date in the past. In 1979, and 1994, and 1996, and 1999, and 2000, and 2015, there was a plane crash of some time. Some kind. Sometime, some kind. That's a... Like... Halloween. Don't fly on Halloween, maybe. 73 people died, 68 people died, 99 people died, 217 people died, 83 people died, 224 people died. Yeah. And speaking of the dying and Halloween and ooh, spooky, drink number the last. After I burp, apparently. Excuse me. Great timing. Not a huge fan of that beer. So, Collective Arts, your Sour Pumpkin Saison. Rating. 
That's somewhere in like the six and a half, seven range. It's not terrible, it just didn't really work for me. Like, I... I don't know, that's a bold, ambitious move, I gotta give you that, but... It didn't work all that well. For me. Hey, and that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Only one more beer left, and then we can call the week and a little bit of the pumpkin done. It's another pumpkin porter by New Ontario. Excited!